We move about 150 meters down to the left from Radha Raman and come to the Radha Gokulananda Temple, which was established by Srila Vishnath Chakravati Thakwa. It is number six on our map. On the altar we find, on the top level, on our left, a deity of Lord Chaitanya who was worshipped by Naratan Das Thakwa. In the middle are Pratibhu or replacement deities of Radha Vinod, worshipped by Lokanath Goswami. Then on the right a Radha Vijay Govinda, worshipped by Baladev Vijabhushan. On the lower level is little Gokulananda, and Lord Chaitanya's Govardhan Shila. The original Radhavan node are now in Jaipur and will go there and have darshan of them shortly. Gokulananda is a very small deity of Krishna on his own. Of course, wherever he is, undoubtedly, Srimati Radharani is there also, but for those who don't have transcendental vision, she is unmanifest. Srila Vishnath Chakravati Thakur installed him personally and worshipped him for some time in the same place where he's being worshipped now in Vrindavan town. Lord Chaitanya's Govardhan Shila is very fascinating. The Lord would put the Shila to his heart or sometimes to his eyes. Sometimes he would smell it with his nose and sometimes place it on his head. It was always moist with tears from his eyes. To the left of the main temple is the Samadhi Garden, where a number of very prominent Vaishnavas have been buried. The main Samadhi is that of Lokanath Goswami, who, along with Bhugaba Goswami, was the first devotee to be sent to Vrindavan by Lord Chaitanya to start the work of uncovering all the lost holy places. Here we see the Samadhi of Srila Naratam Das Thakwa, the great Gaudiya Vaishnav poet, and only disciple of Lokanath. He approached Lokanath for initiation, but was refused. So he then secretly served him for a year, cleaning up for him and even removing his stool every morning. Finally, Lokanath agreed to accept him. Next to Naratam's Samadhi is that of Ganganarayan Chakravati, Naratam's foremost disciple. In the corner to the left of Srila Naratam Das Thakur's Samadhi, is the Samadhi of Srila Vishwanath Chakravati Thakwa. Now we go to Jaipur to have darshan of the original Radha Vinod, personally worshipped by Lokanath Goswami. Bhakti Ratnakara describes that when Lokanath was in Umarao, Lord Chaitanya appeared before him disguised as a village boy carrying a deity of Krishna. He put the deity in Lokanath's hands and immediately vanished. The deity said to Lokanath, I've been staying in a forest in this village, Umarao. I could understand that you were not satisfied, so I have come to you. Now, please feed me. Lokanath was overwhelmed and simply stood there with tears flowing from his eyes. He prepared some food for Krishna and offered it to him. He named the deity Radha Vinod. Lokanath Goswami made a small bag for a temple for Radha Vinod and would carry him wherever he went. The bag would always emanate a transcendental light and when Lokanath would move around he would keep his hand in the bag and massage the body of the Lord while chanting Japa.